Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 9. Uh, so, just getting here to the warehouse. Um, had a console table delivered this morning, so I had to stay home a little bit longer. Well, I probably would have still been home anyway um, had I done my workout, which I didn't do because of the furniture delivery. <laughs> so, now I'm gonna have to go do that this afternoon sometime, um, either before or after I take my daughter to work. So anyway, right now we are just pulling some orders that are going out. Um, I also have a couple things I need to calculate the shipping for. A buyer bought three different lots of um, dinnerware, so I have to put that together, see how much I'll be able to ship that for, and send her the combined invoice so i already pulled two things um this is a pair of earth pegasus that's a style name boots little ankle booties uh these sold for 34.99 plus shipping this actually came from my house this was still in my basement this coffee mug um little birds and stuff this sold for 11.99 plus shipping all right, so now I have to grab one of these horses. I bought a bunch of these and I did not film that day, but um, of course it was a Jersey purchase. I spent like $300 on a bunch of these horses. Um, not the best decision. I mean, they, they, I had a whole bunch of them and I'm down to, well, after I ship one today, I'm down to five of them. Um, but I did not look every one over when I purchased them and they had a little more damage than I anticipated once I got home. So I had to list them um, more, more cheaply than I had anticipated doing. So um, I've already made my money back, but not as much profit as I would have liked out of this deal. Although, I mean, they have been selling pretty quick. I think I got these, um, like the end of October, very end of October. Might have even been November, but maybe not. I don't think so. I don't think they, no, it was the end of October because they didn't have any town wides after that, I don't think. Um, chatting about these, and what they are is the Trail of Painted Ponies. Uh, so these were, these were made by, um, Westland, but I also had one that said Inesco on it. So I don't know which ones were made first. Um, maybe they transferred their license to a different company or whatever. Um, uh, trying to look at the bottom to see which one. Oh, this was one that like Tony Curtis actually made the design. This one I thought might sell first, but it didn't. Um, yeah, here's like what that looks like. It's like, I don't know, he painted a bunch of cats on it. Shiloh, maybe that was his cat's name? I don't know. All right, anyway, let's see here. Reunion of the Family Man. That is the one that I'm looking for. I'll pop that up on the screen so you can see what it looks like. Um, and how much it sold for. I think this one sold for 25 plus shipping, um, if I remember correctly. But I'll pop it up on the screen so you can take a look at that. So yeah, five left now. Not too bad. All right, also while I'm in here, uh, there's a couple other things in this room I need to pull. So another one of these Homefront magazines sold. I actually bought them right in town here, not far from this warehouse. All right, so I'm looking for, and it's probably all the way at the bottom. The last one that I sold, it was all the way to the bottom. It was like literally the last one. <laughs> I think it's a, it's a January edition, volume two, number 43. I'm trying to see I remember what it looked like from the had like a banner on the top I think yeah this is gonna be this is gonna be another one that's all the way to the bottom 
Okay, we're getting into uh, I think it was January. First anniversary. I remember it saying that. January 1943, volume two, number one. Yes, this is it. Let me put these back in here real quick. All right, so we have this, we have the pony, and then I know I have a couple other things in here. One of them I'm gonna have to look because I can't remember, I can't remember which book it is or which volume. Not there, where the heck is it? Well, I do know I sold this. And this I purchased over the summer with a few other books. Um, some of them sold for more. I think one sold for about a hundred. This one sold for the least, I believe, sixteen dollars free shipping. And this is a Star Star Wars Battlefront strategy guide. I actually sold a strategy guide yesterday that's out of print, and that one sold for forty nine with free shipping. I forget which one that was now though, and I just shipped it yesterday. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna take these three things to the table and then, oh, I know what it is. And I only have one volume left, so that's easy. I see it right here. This is um, the Tomb of Dracula Essentials 2. And I wanna say this sold for $25. Um, I'm going to pop it up on the screen. I bought, I think, five of these, and this is, this appears to be the last one. I bought them over the summer. I paid $5 a piece. Um, this book, I think I might have paid two or three a piece on this one um, for all the ones that I bought, but uh, this, I believe, yeah, this I know I paid five bucks a piece, and I got five of them. Um, actually, they may have taken 20 for all, for all of them. I might have made a deal. So four or five bucks, guys. <laughs> um, and the this, this I spent like 40 bucks for a whole box full of these. So, and there were quite a few. So probably like a dollar a piece, maybe dollar fifty a piece. I don't know. Um, this I paid about probably 10 bucks for. Uh, all right, so if I divide, well, I don't know. I might've paid a little more because I, I paid more. I bought two separate lots from the same lady and I paid kind of different for each one. She felt one lot was a little more valuable. So when you average it out, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take this stuff to the table. Alrighty, so now we are in this room. I did sell another mug, but the buyer ended up canceling because she said she I guess the person she was going to gift it to already had that one. Um, so anyway, over here, I need to pull these two items, which I'm probably going to have to carry off camera because they're, um, I'll flip you here. These are these little dome, dome type things. Um, I have one more to list. It's got some paint chipping, but it doesn't have any breakage. I had about five of these and I only wanted to buy the ones that weren't broken and the lady just, she just wanted to sell the whole lot. So I actually had to dispose of like three of them that were like very, very broken. Um, they're Franklin Mint. These little domes come off. They have their paperwork. Um, Franklin Mint, the artist is um, Lowell Herrero and uh, I sold each one of these, and I just listed these the other day, like two days ago, and I sold each one for $25 a piece plus shipping. So we're going to get those over to the table. All right. So I realized I have a rubber stamp that I left at my house that I'm going to have to grab at some point and ship out. It was in this box, and this was from a recent 
rummage sale. You guys may have remembered this from the video. This is a, let's see if I can find a spot to open this up. This is one of those uh, Pier 1 inside painted. It's like a four inch. Uh, Merry and Bright. It's the one with the penguins on it. And this was from 2010. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And... I don't remember which sale. I went to two sales that week, I think. Or maybe they were a week apart. I don't remember. But I know one place I paid a dollar for these ornaments. And then another place I paid five. I may have paid five for this one. I don't know. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> it's in the video, though. All right. I need another item in here. Here we go. It's this um, Snow Bunny's Garden Park Bench. This sold for $34. I believe 34 plus shipping um this came from the salvation army um i told you the story the other day with all of the department 56 like buildings um i did also get some snow bunny stuff they had a ton of actual they had a ton of actual snow bunnies but those do not really seem to sell for me um and if they do sell, the price point is not that great. So, um, but the accessories, on the other hand, the accessories sell pretty darn well. Um, I sold a set yesterday for like $49. That was a bench and like a tree. So, yeah, the, the, the accessories sell well. These are new in the box. Um, I probably paid $3.99 for that, maybe $5.99. Um, all of their stuff um, was priced pretty reasonably. Uh, they had everything, all of their stuff between like $1.99 and $18.99 was the highest. And that was just for some of like the Christmas buildings. But um, even that wasn't too often. They only had a few priced at that. But anyway, so I'm sure with this particular piece, I'm sure I didn't pay any more for $5.99, any more than $5.99 for it. Um, because the smaller items were all pretty reasonable so yeah that was another good sale and this will ship at the at the first class rate but buyer paid for that anyway all right next thing we're gonna pull is a pair of shoes and a vest so let's see here the vest is a qvc brand denim and co i believe that should be over here. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Let's see here. <laughs> it's in this one. And it is right here. So Denim & Co. XL. It's like a faux, like a Sherpa lined faux leather, faux suede. So yeah, $14.99 plus shipping. This came out of, I believe this one came out of the uh, big QVC lot, but it may not have. It may, it may have been a separate purchase. All right, now we're going over to the shoes. I'm looking for G311 and boom, it's right there. These are not in order either, but that's because as soon as the as soon as the box, and they're G because I used to keep them in my garage. <laughs> so yeah, that's how the G came about, in case you're wondering. Um, anyway, these would be really hard to keep in order, um, I think, because when I pull them, I reuse the boxes, and they kind of go wherever. So, yeah. If I would get them all organized by number, they would um, probably be unorganized again real fast. So, anyway, these are a pair of Louis Richter never heard of these before they kind of have the doc doc martin vibes um they are made in austria i thought they were kind of cool that they have like the side tie thought they were kind of unique um and they they're size 36 so they're probably like a five uh i forget i'd have to look at the listing i checked um the website for the conversion um, 
usually the European size 36 is usually like a US 5, but every company is a little different sometimes. So um, anyway, these sold for $25 plus shipping. I always take my shoes out of the box. I'm going to make an extra step because I only have one hand, but I take the shoes out of the box back here. As long as I remember, there are times that I don't. And I just, um, look, I have an empty pile there, an empty pile here. I usually don't have this many free boxes. So that tells me I need to list, I need to list some shoes. Uh, I do have a lot of sandals and I figure, well, maybe it's not the best time of year, but you know what? I am still selling sandals here and there to people in warmer climates. So I should just list all of those so I can reuse my boxes. I, I usually don't go past this, but I have, and now I've had to start another pile. So yeah, I'm gonna grab these shoes now and take them back to the table. Um, this might be it. I don't have as many going out today, which is um, a little bit of a break. So I should start some listing. I took a couple photos last night and I didn't get that stuff listed yet. Um, but I'll tell you, I'm itching to get out to the thrift store. But I do have to take my daughter to work this afternoon. So I'm like, do I want to go to the thrift? Should I just stay and list? And I don't know what I'm going to do. But what I'm going to do now is try to speed ship some of this stuff. Because uh, I want to do something today other than, other than uh, ship. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we are on the road. I need to get to a thrift store. <laughs> so I don't know, I'm headed over to this little tiny church run thrift store in Knowlton, New Jersey. Um, it's probably like maybe a 20 minute ride. It's not that bad. Uh, I couldn't think of where else I really wanted to go today. Um, because there's other things I want to do or still need to do, like get my workout in, take my daughter to work, uh, list, maybe, maybe I should list. Like I have not listed anything this month compared to all of the other months. Uh, so I know I keep saying that, still not doing anything about it. But anyway, my friend has been finding such great stuff the past couple days at the thrift store and I'm like oh my she's like get out there I'm like uh yeah I know I've just been so freaking busy um that I really haven't had time to fit it in but I'm like you know what my shipping's done I'm going this little store actually closes at two o'clock so I'll probably get there about 10 of one maybe uh I do have things that sold today that I could ship out and I might work on that tonight because I think I'm going to go out tomorrow. Uh, I might go to an estate sale. I might go thrifting. I, I don't know, but it's like I have to get out there this weekend. So anyway, let's go see if we can find anything over in this thrift store. I'm excited. All right, we're at the thrift. Let's go in. Hi. Hello. All right, the music is a little bit loud in this place, so I have to do this voiceover style. <laughs> so first thing I pick up, um, and I kind of didn't show them, but they're Lennox spreaders. Just kind of looking around here. They have these glasses, or mugs, I should say. Uh, Danoon Pottery does pretty well. I decide to get all three of them. So I grab a basket. And at some point, I do end up realizing that one of them is cracked, and they're sold as a set of three. So I do end up putting those back. Lots of miscellaneous dinnerware there. Signature housewares, nothing special. That Fitz and Floyd Santa that I just went past very fast. I 
have one of those and they don't sell very well. Uh, Christmas is half off. Uh, it's actually half off Christmas and also glassware today at this store. It's just an empty tin. These trays really caught my eye and right next to it were the legs or I should say tables, not really trays, they're tables. And the base is actually marked uh, Made in Italy, Florence, and they're only $2 a piece. So I thought that might be something good to take a chance on. I did not realize the one underneath had some damage. <laughs> I didn't look at it that well. Even when, even when the lady picked it up, <laughs> when she picked the top one up, um, I was inquiring about how the legs attach, uh, because I wasn't sure if there was additional hardware needed, but after she did pick up one of the legs, I saw that there were little, um, like nuts attached to, like a nut and a bolt to attach the legs. So I told her that I was going to take those, so she carried them to the back. Just some random like tea light holders. Here's a Longa Burger pottery bowl. Of course, you guys know I'm gonna pick that up. That right there that I'm touching is not part of the sale, but that was definitely coming home with me. That was a super sweet find. I will show you guys what that is in the recap. So yeah, just taking another hard glance <laughs> at the Christmas stuff because it is definitely easy to overlook things. It's my, my thing. I, I look time and time again. These right here, I don't know. I thought about those. They would have been $5. I did end up picking those up for some crazy reason. Uh, this is just a little candle holder. I think it might have came from Walmart. Um, I'm going to take a little stroll over, over to the other side here. All different kinds of stuff. I've had some luck selling this brand before, and it is a little pricey, but it is half off. So... I decided to add those to my cart. Uh, that is just a little, a little Lennox piece, like a little bucket. I don't know, eight dollars. Maybe I should have looked that up. It's a little Mother Goose teapot. Um, those don't really sell for much. These don't sell for much either. This brand, but. It ended up being $4, and I just thought the pattern was so nice for the holidays. So even though I typically don't pick that brand up, I did today. Um, not seeing a whole lot over here. But... I did come across these little mugs. I thought they were really cute. Jenny Bowers for Crate and Barrel. They're like little um, little children's mugs. But they have a really nice print on them. They're not going to sell for a whole lot, but they're half off. So I was getting a little crazy with myself <laughs> in this store today. Uh, so taking a little glance at the bottom shelf. Alrighty. Now, going to the back side of the store, these little candlesticks up on the shelf kind of caught my eye. They're unmarked, just basic felt bottom. Not seeing a whole lot there. Um, checking to see if any games or puzzles are sealed and new, but again, not really seeing much of anything. Uh, now the electronics section. I did find um, a nice camera lens when one time I was here um, that sold for a decent amount. So 
always check this section. I don't know what was up with all those egg cartons. I didn't even look at those <laughs> to see if there was anything inside of them. So I see this and I'm like, $5? This is coming with me. Alrighty guys, we're gonna do this thrift haul <laughs> kind of all over the place. So um, we'll start back here. Okay, so I did get these two little tables. They're marked Florence, Italy. Uh, these are all the legs. So I'm going to have to put these together. Now, what I did not notice, the small one, I'm going to turn this other light on. The small one was on top of the large one. So I did not see the damage. They were only $2 each, though. Someone might be able to do something with that. Oh, look at that. Kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah. That is the larger one, and that is the smaller one. I think these are probably from around the 1960s. Um, I think they're cool. I'm going to sell them as a set, even, even though that's got damage. But not sure what I'm going to sell them for yet. Oh, this is all gone. Let me try that again here. My battery died. These GoPro batteries are ridiculous. It was at 21%, and it just powered off. Anyway, this is gone now, but it's delicious. This is the sugar cookie almond milk latte, the iced version. And it's honestly delicious. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but it was like the lowest calories on the seasonal drink list. And it was honestly delicious. It's going to be my go-to for the rest of the holiday season. So if you guys are on the fence about trying it, I recommend it showing you a cup of of ice <laughs> i i'd suck that down it was so good um okay so now we'll head in to the other room i am so happy i went out thrifting i really am like it was having like thrift withdrawals i totally forgot i had all this stuff laying here these are some dolls that i photograph i photograph can't even say it yesterday and want to get listed um they were like in a big bag from these two Ugh. and i'm gonna do a haul with all this stuff around me here okay so i did spend a total of 61 dollars and 25 cents um i don't know these are just like some quilt patterns these were 25 cents a piece that one's kind of that one's kind of neat, right? I think someone will like that. These are just Mary Englebright. Well, they're Daisy Kingdom too. There were other ones there that were marked Daisy Kingdom. They don't seem to do as well. I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna lot these three together for maybe like 12 bucks plus shipping. Uh, then I did get two pair of men's pants. These are um columbia but they are the omni shade 3630 so they're like um like the sun protecting pants do they have a hole no that's just okay it's not a hole i tried to look these over before i bought them it's just a piece of fuzz probably from the bag so i got those these are duluth duluth trading curve setter waistband i don't know what the heck that is but hopefully these will do all right um this here i got this was half price liberty falls do these even sell i feel like they do i don't know do they i don't know i got these liberty falls For some reason, I think one of my friends sold these recently, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I had really bad service there, so I'm like, okay, let me, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure about this purchase, but I paid $5. It was half off. Uh, this is 
Dancing Stars. It's a little bowl. I like this. I like this brand. I paid $4 for this. This was half off as well. All their Christmas, all their glassware. Um, so that's all that's in that bag. Ooh. Let me pull these over. Here is... All right, here is another piece of that. Um, it's a coaster. Coaster or a bread and butter plate. So that was only $4 as well. Uh, I don't even know how much the shoes were, and I don't know how much the pants were either. Um, but like I said, the total came to $61.25. So these are a pair of... Uh, Solomon's and that brand usually does pretty well they don't look like they're too bad of condition they're a size six women's size six and a half this uh, this was 250 it wasn't five dollars this was Christmas so it was on sale as well this is um, just little spreaders uh, winter greetings this is a little longer burger bowl. So this would have been 50 cents, half off. I'm going to pull it out of here. Um, it's a little snow. It needs to be cleaned. But it's a little, um, the holiday pattern. I think it's like jolly old snowy, except I don't see the snowman. I don't know. I'm going to clean that up, though. Get it listed. I'm sad they didn't have more than one. These I thought were pretty cool. I got a set of two. They were um, $5 originally for the set. Jenny Bowers for Crate and Barrel. Um, so they ended up being $2.50 for the pair. I, I don't know how these are going to do, but I just had a good feeling about them. Super cute. She was like... Just so you know, these are going to be $2.50 for two mugs. Is that okay? I'm like, yes, that's fine. Um, what else do I have in here? I already forget what I did. I already forget what I bought, and it was literally an hour ago. I'm like excited. Like, what is this? <laughs> that's what it is. She tricked me. She wrapped the rest in bubble wrap and she wrapped this one in paper. So I thought it was something different, but it's not. It's just one of these mugs. <clears throat> American uh, Atelier, Atelier, I don't know how you want to say that, but I thought these were really cute. Four mugs, four plates. And then the grand finale this right here was not on sale it was excluded from the sale but this is the good one this is this is awesome I'm, I'll throw up comps carving the roast beast this is musical this is Dr. Seuss. Let's see the Grinch is in there. I'm not gonna totally unwrap this right now, um, but I, I did um, I did have her take it out. She was very protective of this. She said, "I'm gonna take it out for you." So I said, "Okay." So she took it out. I really looked it over. I figure at twenty dollars, I really need to do that. Um, and it's in mint, mint condition. So that was a great find. Alrighty. So wait, 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 wait. I got one more thing. There it is over there at the very top. I always forget something. That is a Sony DVD direct. Um, it is used to DVD recorder. It is used, but I paid $5 for it. So I think I should be able to still get maybe 40 used. Uh, I actually sold a brand new one over the summer for $250. Either $250 or $225 plus shipping. It went internationally. And I was one of the higher priced. Like there were, there were others that people were selling for like $125. 150 that were also new mine was 
really at the top of the the price range and it sold for full price and went internationally through the global shipping program so anyway this is um that one was new though this one is used so we'll see what happens but i i still thought it was a good pickup for five bucks Alrighty guys, so that is going to wrap up this video. I'm going to try to list a few of these items and uh, then I need to go, go home, get my workout in for the day, take my daughter to work and get this video uploaded. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.